outdoors today doing some ice fishing. We thought we'd take some time out, do a little shed stories video. I don't have any sheds to speak of today. My friend Rick has a really nice one. He's gonna talk about it. So I'm gonna let Rick take it from here, and I hope you guys enjoy the story. How's it going today? I'm Rick Paskey. This in front of me here is the Paskey Shed. 2008. Uh, I found this shed. Driving past this area for a year. Finally stopped, hit it. Was out there hiking around for two hours. My friends were blowing up my phone. Kept calling me, telling me they were finding antlers. I was out there for two hours hiking around, not finding anything. Decided to move them over a little bit in a different batch of woods. And lo and behold, about 60 feet in front of me, I seen this puppy laying there. Tines up, could not miss it. It was unbelievable. Walked over there, just stood there looking over the antler. Did my little antler dance, stopped, and I just did a 360 degree turn, super slow, scanning everything in sight, looking to see if that other side was laying around. Could not find the other side. Spent all season looking for it, but that's the way it goes. You got the uh, main beam here. There's a total of 31 and an eighth. You got a total of 23 inches on the mass. G2 here is 14 and a half inches. G3 is 13 and uh, two eighths. And the rest is what you see. This is also known as the Elgin Buck 2007. The matching set was put together. And then in uh, 2000. Nine, the matching set was also found. This is the only year that this antler came out as a typical five-point antler. To this date, it's still the world record. I don't know if it's ever going to be me. Well, folks, that's my story. I hope you liked it. I'm outdoors with Reg Smitty. You ain't living outdoors, you ain't living.